Chanda. All glories to Advaita Chandra, and all glories to all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu departed for South India, King Prataparudra called Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya to his palace. When Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya met with the king, the king offered him a seat with all respects and inquired about news of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, Guruji! Hare Krishna, to you. Please, come sit down. Ah, it is so nice to see you. I have heard that one great personality has come from Bengal. And I have also heard that he is very, very merciful. I have also heard that he has shown you great mercy. Anyway, this is what I've heard from many different persons. Now, showing great favor to me, please arrange an interview with the Lord. All that you have heard is true. But as far as an interview is concerned, this is very difficult to arrange. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the renounced order of life and very much detached from all worldly affairs. He stays in solitary places and even in dreams does not grant interviews to kings. Still, I would try to arrange an interview for you, but he has recently left for South India. Why has he left Jagannath Puri? Thus is the pastimes of great personalities. Great saints go to holy places in order to purify them. Thus, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has visited many Tirthas and is <coughs> delivering many, many conditioned souls. This is the duty of a Vaishnava, actually. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not a conditioned soul, but the supreme personality of God in himself. And thus, he is an independent controller. He does, he does not need... He is an independent controller. <laughs> Why did you not fall at his lotus feet and keep him here? I tried, but he is the supreme personality of God in himself. And thus, I was not successful. Oh, Bhattacharya, you are the most experienced and learned person I know. Therefore, when you address Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Lord Krishna himself, I accept this as the truth. But the Lord will again return from South India. I beg at your lotus feet that you will arrange an interview so that my eyes can be perfect just once. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will return very soon. And I would like to have a nice place ready for him. This place should be very near the Jagannath temple. And also, this place should be very secluded and solitary. Having heard my request, please arrange this for him. Yes! Kazimitra's place is exactly what you desire. It is very close to the temple of Lord Jagannath. It is very calm and very quiet. Yes, it would be perfect. Let us go immediately and make arrangements. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu returned from his South Indian tour, Maharaj Prataparudra, the king of Orissa, became very anxious to meet him. How will I be able to meet Sri Chaitanya? What will I do? I know I shall write a letter to Sarva Boma Bhattacharya. Yes, that's right. I will write. My dear Sarva Boma Bhattacharya, please appeal to all the devotees of the Lord on my behalf. If the devotees of the Lord are favorable to me, then they can submit my petition to the Lord on my behalf. If one gets the mercy of the devotees of the Lord, then one will get an interview. But if I do not get an interview, with the Lord, 
My kingdom does not appeal to me. If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not show me his mercy, then I will give up my kingdom. I will become a mendicant and wear an ivory earring and go from door to door begging. Yes, that's right. Oh, yes, I will send this immediately. I will. When Bhattacharya received this letter, he became very anxious. He then took the letter and went to the devotees of the Lord. At that time, Gopinathacharya came there while Savaboma Bhattacharya was with King Prataparuja. Being a Brahmin, he offered his benediction to the king and he addressed Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya as follows. About 200 devotees are coming from Bengal. They are all greatly advanced devotees and are specifically devoted to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They have all already arrived and are waiting on the banks of Lake Narendra. I desire residential quarters and prasad arrangements for all of them. Yes! I will immediately tell the temple superintendent and he will arrange for residential quarters and prashadam as you require. My dear Saiba Boma, please show me one after another Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associates who have come from Bengal. Let us go up on the roof of the palace. I do not know them, but Gopinathacharya knows them all and he will identify them for you. Oh, yes, let us go. Who are those first two persons that the Lord has sent in advance? Their effulgence is very, very great, and I desire to know who they are. Yes, there is Swarup Damodar, who is practically the second expansion of the body of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, and there, that is Govinda, who is the personal servant of the Lord. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent garlands and Mahaprasadam with these two exalted souls just to honor the devotees coming from Bengal. Govinda was the servant of Ishwara Puri, and Ishwara Puri has, so, has told Govinda to serve Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thus, the Lord keeps him very close. And who is that person that they have garland? His effulgence is very, very great, and he must be a great devotee of the Lord. I desire to know who he is. Yes, his name is Advaita Charya. He is honored even by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is therefore taught most of all. And on his right, you see, Shiva's Pandit. And over behind him is Gadadhar Pandit. And in the back over there, where, where, there where? is Gauri Gupta. Oh. And, and in the front here, the Sri Ramana. And Vasudev Dutt. And Hari Bhad over there, way in the corner. There's Hari Das Thakur, the deliverer of all fallen souls in this universe. And here is Shiva Nanda Sain. And on his right is Vijay. And there's Sanjay. Sanjay. And the group right here, Govinda Ghosh, Madhava Ghosh, and Vasudev Ghosh. They are three brothers in their congregational chanting of Sankirtan. Please the Lord very much. And over, over on the right is Bala Bhadra Singh. And in the front is Puru Sotama. Oh, how many names shall I speak to you? They're all great devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is their life and soul. Seeing all these devotees, I am very much astonished. For I have never seen such an effulgence. Indeed, their effulgence is like that of millions of suns. Nor have I ever heard the Lord's holy names chanted so melodiously. 
nor have I ever seen such ecstatic dancing during kirtan. Please, how come? This sweet, transcendental sound is a special creation of the Lord, known as Prema Sankirtan, congregational chanting in love of Godhead. In this age of Kali, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has descended to preach the religion of Krishna consciousness. Therefore, the chanting of the holy names is the only religious principle for this age. Anyone who worships Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with congregational chanting should be considered to be very intelligent. And anyone who does not should be considered to be a victim of this age of Kali and bereft of all intelligence. In this age of Kali, intelligent persons perform congregational chanting to worship the incarnation of the Lord, who is constantly chanting the names of Krishna. Although his complexion is not blackish, he is Krishna himself. And he is accompanied by his associates, his friends, his servants, his weapons, and his confidential companions. Ah. According to the revealed scriptures, it is said that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Lord Krishna himself. Why then are learned scholars sometimes indifferent to him? Oh. Only a person who has received but a small fraction of the mercy of the Lord can understand that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Lord himself. Only a person who has received a small fraction and no one else. There, all the devotees are running straight for the residence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Why is that? Well, this is called spontaneous love. All of these devotees are very eager to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And thus, they are going to see him. First they will see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and then, along with him, they will go and see Jagannath. There! There! There's the son of Bhavananda Roy Baninath. And he is going with five or seven men with a huge quantity of Jagannath Pashada. Mm -hmm. Indeed, Baninath has already gone to the residence of Mahaprabhu with a large quantity of Pashada. Please tell me the reason for this. Knowing that a great many devotees are coming from Bengal, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given the sign, and great quantities of Mahaprasadam have been brought. My dear Guruji, I want to ask you one question. Yes. Why is it that they have not performed the regulations for visiting holy places, like fasting and shaving? Why have they taken Mahaprasadam first? <laughs> All that you have said is true regarding the Vedic regulative principles regarding the visiting of holy places. But there is another path, which is the path of Raganuga Bhakti, spontaneous love. Only a person who has pure love for the Lord can see the Lord. <coughs> John. One morning, as I was sitting on my bed, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and he gave me a little Mahaprasadam. And I immediately ate it without even washing my hands. A person who has re realized Sri Krishna within his heart does not care for Vedic regulative principles or Vedic social customs, but he accepts Krishna and only Krishna. That is very wonderful. Well, you two are very great devotees. Now you go and see Lord Chaitanya and his associates to your heart's content. And I will go and make other arrangements. Yes. Let's yes. go. So Ramananda Roy arrived from South India. Upon meeting Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ramananda Roy offered his obeisances.
जय महाप्रभु The Lord embraced him, and both of them began to cry in the great ecstasy of love. <laughs> Seeing Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's intimate dealings with Sri Ramananda Roy, all the devotees there were greatly astonished. Mahaprabhu, I approached King Prataparudra as you told me, and I asked him. I want to go and serve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for all my life. What did he say? Oh, upon hearing your name, he immediately jumped up and he grasped me, and he was feeling ecstatic bliss. He said, "Oh, how lowly am I that this whole life I may not have darshan of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself, the son of Maharaj Nanda." I don't think. Within my heart, there is even a fraction of a love for you, that is in the heart of King Pataparudra. Hey, Ramananda, you are indeed the topmost devotee of the Lord, and therefore, because the King has shown so much love for you, Krishna will certainly be merciful to him. This is the conclusion of all shastra. Krishna himself has said in Adi Puran, "Ye me bhakta jana paata, na me bhakta chate jana." Anyone who says, "I am directly the devotee of Krishna," he is not my devotee. <laughs> But he was the devotee of my devotee. He is my real devotee. In Sri Mad Bhagavatam, the conclusion has also been given: "Mad bhakta puja biadika." What is the quality of a real devotee? He performs very first-class worship of the pure devotees. Again, in the Vish, uh, Padma Purana, it is stated there, "Aradhanam Sarvesham Vishnu Aradhanam Param." The Vedas have recommended so many types of worship of different demigods, but actually, the highest worship of all is the worship of Vishnu. But there's something more. Tasmat paratam devi, tadi adam samachanam. Higher than the worship of Vishnu, even is worship of the Vaishnava. It is so high, such a wonderful thing. But the association of such great souls is not easy to attain. Dura pa hyal pata pasa seva vaikun tavat masu yatro pagi attain nityam deva deva janardana. Those whose sukriti. And austerity is meager. They cannot attain the association of such high class of devotees who are running very quickly back home, back to Godhead. So, in conclusion, you should know that no one, but no one, can attain the lotus feet of Krishna without the mercy of the Vaishnavas. So, King Prataparudra has been very merciful to me, Mahaprabhu. He has told me, "Go serve your Prabhu," and I have come, and he has given me. Full leave and full security in my, uh, with money he's sending. So you should have mercy upon him and just once, just once, show him your beautiful lotus-like feet. Before placing such a request to me, you should consider first of all whether or not it is befitting for a sannyasi to meet with a king. If a mendicant meets with a king, what is the result? This world and the next world, both are completely destroyed for that mendicant.、Mm -hmm. What to speak of the next world? Even in this life, everyone will laugh at him, and he will become the object of jokes.、Mm -hmm. You are the supreme independent personality. <coughs> you have nothing to Krishna, fear. Krishna, 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 Krishna. You are dependent upon no one. I am not the supreme personality of Godhead. I am an ordinary living being, an ordinary human being, and therefore. I must fear public opinion in three ways: by my body, by my mind, and by my words. Don't you know? Don't you understand that if the general public sees just one small fault, one tiny fault in the character of a sannyasi, what do they do? They immediately broadcast it everywhere like wildfire. 
You know, if there's a black spot of ink on a big white sheet, it cannot remain hidden. It will be very, very prominent there. You have saved unlimited amount of impious living entities. I have heard of Jagai and Madai, so many. But yet this king is a devotee of Vishnu, and this king thinks of you every day and loves you. And you are not being merciful to him. And you are not showing him your lotus feet. <laughs> you should know that if there is a large pot of milk, so fresh and sweet and fragrant, mm -hmm. but that pot of milk is touched by one drop of liquor, mm -hmm. then it becomes contaminated and it is completely rejectable. Mm -hmm. So King Pataparudra, he may have all good qualities, but simply by accepting the title king, mm -hmm. everything has become contaminated, infected and untouchable. <laughs> there must be a way. If anyone can think of a way, it is you, Mahaprabhu. In Shastra, it has been told there that the son of a man is his representative. <laughs> so I think if you want me to meet with the king, then you should send his son to me. I will meet with his son, and that will be as good as meeting the king. Entering upon his youth was very beautiful. He was blackish in complexion and had large lotus eyes. The prince was dressed in yellow cloth and there were jeweled ornaments decorating his body. Therefore, anyone who saw him would remember Lord Krishna. Ah, <sighs> I have spoken to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, yes? Mm -hmm. yeah. hey, what did he say? What did he say? He told me that in Shastra it is said that the son is the representative of the king. So, at this time, I implore you, let me take your son to Mahaprabhu. Oh, very nice! Oh, very nice! <laughs> Please, go! <laughs> Mahaprabhu, this is the king's son. <laughs> this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, up to respect. <laughs> This person is a great devotee. Simply by seeing him, one can remember Brajendananda and Shamasundar. Oh, only by seeing you, I become so obliged. <laughs> Krishna! Oh, Krishna! Oh, Krishna! Krishna! Oh, oh Krishna! Okay. Come down, come down. Come down. Come down. Hey, come down. Come down. It's okay, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. You can return this boy to the palace. And you? You should come and meet with me every single day. You come? As soon as the prince was touched by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, symptoms of ecstatic love had immediately manifested themselves in his body. These symptoms included perspiration, trembling, tears, being stunned, and jubilation. They then departed from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Roy took the boy back to the king's palace. 
The king was very happy when he heard of his son's activities. <gasps> oh, they're back. Oh, my dear son. Ah, <laughs> Hare Krishna! <laughs> By embracing his son, he experienced such ecstatic bliss as if he was embracing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when King Prataparuja returned to Jagannath Puri, he called for Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya. When Bhattacharya went to see the king, the king offered him respects and made the following inquiries. Oh, my dear Guruji, pronounce to you. Please, sit down, sit down. Thank you. Have you submitted my petition to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Yes, yes I have. I have tried very hard, <laughs> but despite my great endeavor, the Lord has refused. Indeed, he said that if we should continue to ask him, he will leave Jagannath Puri and go elsewhere. <laughs> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has descended to deliver all sorts of sinful persons. Consequently, he has delivered sinners like Jagai and Madai. Has Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descended to deliver all kinds of sinners? <laughs> with the exception of a king named Prataparuja Rai. <laughs> As Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descended to deliver all kinds of sinners with the exception of me, <laughs> he has shown his merciful glance to all kinds of low-born persons who should not even be seen. <sighs> If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is determined not to see me, then I am determined to give up my life. If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not show me his mercy, then my kingdom, my life are all useless. <laughs> I am very astonished to see the determination of the king. My dear king, do not worry. Because of your firm determination, I am sure that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will grant you his mercy. The Lord is only bought with pure love, and your love for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very, very deep. Therefore, I do not have a doubt in my mind that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will see you. There is one way by which you can see the Lord directly. There is? Yes. What is it? Yes. What is it? On the day of the car festival, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will dance in ecstatic love before the deity. On that Rathiyatra festival day, he will then go to the Gundicha garden. You should also go there, stripped of your royal dress. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu goes to the Gundicha, you should also go there and recite five chapters about Krishna dancing with the gopis. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be in a mood of ecstatic love, <clears throat> bereft of all outside motivations and consciousness, at that time, you should read those five chapters from Srimad Bhagavatam. Yes. And that way, you will be able to catch hold of the feet of Lord Chaitanya. <clears throat> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will then hear you, and he will understand that you are a pure devotee of the uh, pure Vaishnava. He will then embrace you, and you Life, your life will be completely fulfilled. The Lord 
has already changed his mind because of Ramananda Roy's description of your pure love for him. So you should not worry. You will see the Lord. Come, let us go and see Jagannath. <laughs> Gauranga Bali Te Habe Pula Ka Shari Ra Hari Hari Bali Te Nai Yane Babe Ni Ra Krishna, 
Encouraging King Pratyaparudra, after thus encouraging King Pratyaparudra, Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya returned home. On the day of Lord Jagannath's bathing, bathing ceremony, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very happy at heart. After seeing the bathing ceremony of Lord Jagannath, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became very happy. But when Lord Jagannath retired after the ceremony, Lord Chaitanya became very unhappy because he could not see him. On the day of Ratha Yatra, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced ecstatically in love of God. Throughout the day, he sprinkled transcendental Krishna Prem upon everyone, including animals and plants. After the festival, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entered the garden and laid down without external consciousness. Following Sarvabhama Bhattacharya's instructions, the king had given up his royal dress. He now entered the garden in the dress of a Vaishnava. Maharaj Prataparuja was so humble that with folded hands, he first took permission from all the devotees. Then, with great courage, he fell down and touched the lotus feet of the Lord. My dear Krishna, ever since you took your birth in the land of Braj, everything appears to be glorious. The land of Braj has become so glorious that even the goddess of fortune is always personally existing here. <sighs> but it is only we who are very unhappy because we are searching for you, <sighs> because we cannot see you. Our greatest efforts are not manifesting. Our life is completely dependent on you. <sighs> Therefore, we request you to again come to us. Jayanti Te
have, you have given me so many valuable jewels, but I have nothing to give you in return. So therefore, I'm simply embracing you. Oh, Burida, 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 Burida. You are so magnificent. Oh, you are so magnificent. Who are you? Who are you? How is it that you came here all of a sudden and you forced me to drink the nectar of Krishna's Leela? My dear Lord, I am only a servant of the servants of your servants. And my only ambition is that you will accept me as the servant of your servants. At that time, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu displayed some of his divine opulences to the king. And he forbade him to disclose this to anyone. Although within, within his heart, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knew everything that was happening. Externally, he did not disclose it. Nor did he disclose the fact that he knew he was talking with King Pataparudra. Whoever sees or hears these pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will attain a greed for his lotus feet within his heart. Gaur Premanandi! so much high classes of hmm? Hari Katha pastime, so sweet pastimes of Krishna. I think that in your life you have not enjoyed Hari Katha and these kinds of very high kinds of powerful drama play also. These are not drama play, you don't think. You should think that these are also the part of my class. I am not telling by, by my representative. 
they are telling all these to things. Try to learn so much things from these things. If you are trying to be like Maharaja Prataparudra, If Mahaprabhu mercy is not there, then what is the use of this wealth, kingdom, and my life even? And he promised that I should give up everything. I will be a yogi, give up all my kingdoms, and even if Mahaprabhu mercy is not soaring on me, I will give up my life, eh? jumping in ocean or going anywhere. Can we decide like this? Then Krishna Prem will be. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, being a Sarnyasi, how is he strict? Hmm? Even he is not meeting with a king, though the king was very high class of devotee, you are seeing, always reciting. Hmm? Tava katha amritam tapta jeevanam kabhiriditam kalma shapa Like this, all this. Hmm? But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, oh, telling that, oh, even name is king. Hmm? I cannot see with him, I cannot meet him. Hmm? You know, Haridas, Choto Haridas, how much he was high class of devotees. But he met with any girlfriend, girl, and he gave up her whole life. A she should be strict like him. But nowadays, what we are seeing? Hmm? We are not following Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He knew that in future it will be like this. Sannyasi will test all kinds of worldly things and world, uh, worldly persons, very poor, they cannot enjoy all these things. But Sannyasi more than oh, king, they will enjoy everything. Oh, so many Shabadashi with them. Eh? So much appellant, lakhs and lakhs dollars they will have. Hmm? So this is not good for sannyasis. They are not sannyasis, they are kali sannyasis. And you are seeing all these things. We should try to follow. If you want to have love and affection for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, always remember Choto Haridasar Katha Janomane. Always you should remember the pastime between Mahaprabhu and Prataparudra. Always be like that. So good, very good, high class of um, this um, drama plays, I think it is not drama play. Directly, instruction, and in easy way, they are making prasadam like this. So you should always be devoted like this. Always remember Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his high classes of charitra, Character. Character and his shiksha teachings. teachings. I uh, bestow my heartly blessings to the players here um, Prem Prayojan, Mahi Bharat, Rai Ramananda, <laughs> all others, Lalit Mohan, all. Hmm. They are high class as a devotee. Hmm? They should be ideal brahmachari and sannyasi. And then they can preach my mission to the whole world. Hmm? You should try to be very qualified like this and try to accept all the processes that Rupa Swami has told. I want that. We are now four days or now many men. So good, good, very instructive, powerful uh, drama plays should be done. And also I am giving so much high class of Harikatha. Harikatha. You should try to understand. Huh? 
you should give your all desires and everything in ocean to California, Pacific, Pacific Ocean, and be very pure. Forget, uh, forget all kinds of um, problems. problems, no, um, enemy, enemies, and envies, eh? envies, and everything, and be ideal devotees. When you will return, you should take all these things in your hearts. Hmm? Always remember Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sarva Radha and Krishna conjugal. Gaur Pramanande Hari Hari Bol. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.